Hello everyone, welcome back. I know I've been gone for a while. I just rolled up to work. I still have about 30 minutes until I have to clock in, um, which should be enough time for me to just get in there and try to get my mind right. Um, it has been last week. Oop. Last week was probably one of the longest weeks I've had in a long ass time. Getting used to, first of all, I'm not even on the set schedule that I'm, that I uh, applied to work. Um, they have me on, um, yeah, nine hour shifts. So, uh, all last week I worked from three to 11, three to 11, all this week I'm working three to 11. I think it's going to be like that until I've take uh, until I've taken my uh, EKG class, which is tomorrow. It's only like I don't know a few hours, which basically I'm going to be doing the same thing that I'm doing now. Um so, you know, there's that. So getting used to not even getting used to just working from 3 to 11 like and then I have to transition from 3 to 11 nine hour shifts to 12 hour shifts which I think is from 7 to 7 so um but yeah so I haven't I have not talked to my manager about when I'm gonna be going on nights because they do want to um I think they hired two other people and they want to give it time to train them um for when they start to be on the, the shifts. So, you know, there's that. Um, but other than that, it's been just long, long, long hours, long days. Um, of course, today is Monday. It's President's Day, so the kids did not have school today. So today, including um, Saturday and Sunday, were like the only three days I really got to spend time with them because other than taking them to school in the morning and then picking my little one up from preschool at 11.15 and then taking my little one to my husband's job because I got to go to work, I don't, I haven't been able to spend much time with them, you know? And then, um, like I said taking my little one to my husband's job then when when I have to go to work so like around two ish I give a time to take her to his job and then I want to get here plus I would I like to have some cushion time like today I got 30 minutes a little less than 30 minutes right cushion time because I take the highway anyway um I haven't gotten a chance to spend time with them. And then when I do get home, you know, when I get home, it's already 1130. They are way and well into bed and already deep in their sleep. I'm not going to wake them up and be like, oh, mommy's home. Go back to sleep. No, no. They'll see me in the morning when they wake up. So, I mean, it's just a thing like, you know, not spending time with my family, but it's only temporary. That's what I have to keep telling myself. It's only temporary. Um, meeting uh, and actually spending time with my coworkers. Um, now, to keep in mind, the to give you an idea of the space that we are in. Um, it... Mm, how can I put this? You ever like um our our space is about the same size as a kitchen in a apartment. Like if you've ever lived in a two bedroom apartment, the size of the kitchen is the size of our working space. We only have as of right now, we only have one desk. Well, yeah, one desk, but it's shaped like an L. Only have one, two computers that we do our stuff on, email, chatting with nurses, whatever the case may be. Then we have one, two, three, four monitors that we're watching. 
up to 60 people at a time, but some people, you know, they're only on the monitor for like, I don't know, three hours and they're gone. Some people have been on the monitor for weeks, you know, it just depends. So that is our working space. My biggest thing was personalities. So all Friday, now I have no problem with, with my coworkers. There's only three of them, not including me. There's only three. So I don't really have a problem with, with anybody, but at the same time, it's a small area and without noticing it, you can be in people's personal space and I do need my personal space. If I if if I can just if I stretch and if I go like this, if I can feel you or if I can bump my elbow into you, you are too close to me. That I need personal space. You know, I don't need you to be directly all up on me when you're talking to me. Just I just need personal space. Um but other than that, I'm cool. I'm cool with everybody. Um, if my coworkers are talking about something that I don't really want to be, I don't want part of the conversation. I know how to mind my own business. <laughs> Some people don't know how to mind their own business, but I do. So, you know, but I don't have no problem with nobody. I have no problem. I go like I do every day. I go, I do my job. I might get, you know, a couple laughs with some of my coworkers, especially these these two ladies, um, these two ladies specifically, uh, get my work done and go home. And now let me tell you, because I was already talking about this to myself on the way here. You know, when you think about the regular day, your regular day, right? Like today's Monday. I've been up since six. Actually, no, I've been up since 8. Okay? When 5 o'clock hits, 5 o'clock is the hour for things to kind of start calming down when you get home from work. I've just been at work for 2 hours at 5 o'clock. At 7 o'clock is when the shift changes at work. So, and I'm there, I'm here until 11. So, some of my co-workers, they go home, their shift is over, they already put in their 12 hours. Um, and I'm, I've only been at work for four hours. And I still have to make it until 11 o'clock. Okay? So, <laughs> sometimes you just have to find ways to entertain yourself. I know I do. You know, I'm just... I mean... You monitor people, you make phone calls, you call um, nurses, you call the aides, you know, but you just have to entertain yourself. You have to get up and go for a walk. Um, I do that because you just have to. You have to um, do some, you know, meditation when there's not a whole lot of beeps and buzzes and alarms going off, you know. Plus, every day, we all have a pager. Well, the, the department that I'm in, we have a pager. The department. <laughs> the room that we're in has a pager. And every um, every day at 4 o'clock or at 4.30, it goes off for like a, like a test alarm every day. Every day. I don't like that because when I hear an alarm... I think that something's happening. But it's just a test. Even though I know it happens every day, it still, like, alerts me. Well, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But, ooh-wee. I tell you. I tell you. So, it's been, it's just been, plus, there's some other stuff going on. And I just need this to not be a week like last week. Because last week was too long. It was too, 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 too long. I have never slept. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have. I 
have slept so hard that as soon as I get home, as soon as my head touches that pillow, I am dead to the world until my alarm goes off to get up at six in the morning. I'm dead to the world. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm trying to get with it. And I know as soon, I know for a fact, as soon as I get used to being on this 3 to 11 schedule, boom, they're going to put me on at night for those 12 hour shifts. I know it. I know it. So now I have to switch up my, my schedule again to stay up at night for 12 hours. So, um, yeah, yeah. One thing about the medical field, I do not care what you do. I do not care where you work. Most of the time, you're going to have to be okay with switching up your, uh, your sleep schedule, you know, but I guess it depends. Well, yeah, you're going to have to shoot, you know. You have to, but yeah, and that's that's it. That's all my time for now. For now, I'm in front of the hospital. I gotta go in, do get clock in, maybe get a snack before, you know, and all that stuff, and just pray to God that tonight is an okay night. <laughs> and I want this week to already be over, and it's only Monday, so just want to give you a little snippet of what's going on. And with that being said, y'all, I will see you in my next one. Oh, I know I I know I told some of you that I'll make videos on certain things. Those are coming. I am so sorry that I have not made them yet. Um, but yeah, those are still coming. Trust me when I say that. Um, new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you taking the time to hit that button down below. And to also hit that bell down below. That way you get automatic notifications every single time I upload a video. So, officially, officially, with that being said, I'll see y'all in my next one.